The meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs wasn't the only large-scale meteor impact in Earth's history. There were many others that were significant enough to change life on Earth. Here are the top 15 biggest meteor impacts in history. Number 15. Vredefort Crater From ground level within the Vredefort Crater, it's almost impossible to tell that you're inside the remains of the biggest known meteor impact site in the world, and it's only when you see aerial images that the full extent of the structure is revealed. Located in the Free State Province of South Africa, with the town of Vredefort in the center, the crater was originally more than 190 miles across, but has been eroded since it was formed, and the main structure that remains is known as the Vredefort Dome which is a series of hills and concentric circles that are about 43 miles across. Originally, it was thought that this dome had been created by a volcano at the center, but the analysis of the bedrock had uncovered an event that originated beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Thought to have taken place around 2 billion years ago, during the Paleoproterozoic era, the lump of space rock that caused such a large impact must have been at least 6.2 miles across, but potentially as much as 10 miles in diameter. Back then, the world was very different continents had yet to stabilize, and the Earth itself rotated much faster, resulting in 20-hour days. Life, too, was at an early stage of development, and it's surprising to learn that despite the huge impact that created the Vertefort Crater, it's not believed to have caused a mass extinction event like the later but smaller impacts did. Instead, it's actually thought that the Vertefort impact may have drastically changed the makeup of the atmosphere and contributed to increasing oxygen levels at the time that ultimately allowed more complex life forms to evolve. Number 14. The Chelyabinsk Meteor It's been many millions of years since the Earth was struck by a large meteor, but smaller ones can still be dramatic incidents. In the modern world where we all have video cameras in our pockets, virtually every unusual event is captured on film, and the Chelyabinsk Meteor impact in February of 2013 is a perfect example of that. Early in the morning, the sky of the southern Ural region of Russia was lit up by a super bolide meteor that raced across the sky and the 66-foot-wide object traveled through the atmosphere at such an angle that it became brighter than the sun and was visible as far away as 62 miles. Images of the meteor were captured from all angles, and some eyewitnesses even reported feeling intense heat as it passed by. It showed just how powerful and potentially deadly events like these can be, and perhaps more worryingly is the fact that this meteor didn't even make it to the ground. Instead, it exploded in an airburst at an altitude of around 18 and a half miles with a blast that was estimated to be the equivalent of around 450 kilotons of TNT, with up to 33 times the energy of the nuclear bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. This was enough to shatter windows in the surrounding region and led to 1,500 people seeking medical attention. But it would have been much worse if it had hit the ground. It's thought to have been the largest meteor to enter the Earth's atmosphere in more than 100 years, and frighteningly, there was no warning. The worldwide space agencies had no idea of its existence before reports of the event started coming through. Number 13. Beaverhead Crater Lying on the border between the states of Idaho and Montana in the U.S., the Beaverhead Crater is thought to be the second largest meteor impact crater in the country. There's debate within the scientific community about when the meteor that created it actually struck the Earth but the general consensus is that it occurred somewhere between 650 million and 900 million years ago. Even from there, there are no clear signs that a crater is actually there, and that's a result of extreme weathering and geological events that have happened in the subsequent years. In fact, the only evidence that's been found is a series of shattered cones, which are rocks that show signs of being subjected to extreme pressures that have been found around the crater's perimeter. By studying these, it's believed that the crater is around 37 miles in diameter, and an event that caused something so large would undoubtedly have had serious consequences for life forms across the continent. It's from studying impact sites like the Beaverhead Crater that shows how difficult it can be to determine where and when impacts like these have happened. Earthquakes, weather, and even the drift of the Earth's crust act to cover them up, and suggest that there could have well been many more large events like these throughout the Earth's history that we still have no clue about, and may imply that another meteor impact like it is long overdue. Number 12. Sudbury Basin In 1856, a surveyor who was exploring land near Ontario's Lake Nipissing in Canada found high levels of mineral deposits in the region, but little did he know the reason behind their presence. Within a few decades, the area had become covered with mines to extract the valuable nickel, copper, platinum, palladium, and gold. But none of these would have been present had it not been for a meteor impact that was so destructive that it opened up the ground to the layer of molten magma beneath 
which subsequently filled the void with mineral-rich rock. Now known as Sudbury Basin, researchers have determined it to be the third largest known impact crater on Earth. It's the result of a strike by a meteor around 1.8 billion years ago, during the Paleoproterozoic era, and would have been an extremely powerful event. The rock is believed to have been up to 10 miles in diameter, and the collision with what was then the Nuna supercontinent at the time scattered debris across an area of 620,000 square miles and reached as far away as Minnesota. The crater itself was originally around 81 miles across, and while it has since shrunk due to erosion and geological processes, there is still plenty of evidence to show what happened. In fact, rocks that were formed during the impact are so common in the region that it was used as a training site for the NASA astronauts on board Apollo 15, 16, and 17, where they were taught how to identify impact structures for when they were exploring the moon. Number 11. Chicxulub Crater The Chicxulub Crater is what remains of the most famous meteor impact in history because it's this structure that's buried beneath the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico that was formed during the event that is widely believed to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. Evidence from the site suggests that it was formed around 66 million years ago by a meteor that measured between 7 and 50 miles across. With a crater that's thought to be up to 93 miles in diameter and 12 miles deep, it's the second largest known structure like this in the world after the Bredefort Crater. It is, however, the only crater where the central peak ring is still intact and can be studied by researchers, mainly because it's located underwater and so hasn't been covered with as many thick layers of bedrock like is the case with other ancient impact craters. The ability to take core samples from the crater has confirmed the theories that it was formed at the exact time that climate change began causing more than 75% of life on Earth to die out and would have triggered a tsunami that was over 300 feet tall. It was so huge that it had a surprising effect too, as a result of how much it compressed the Earth beneath it. The Chicxulub Crater is littered with gravitational anomalies where the denser bedrock increases the gravitational pull above and has led to the development of new technologies to potentially deduce other regions in the world that have also been the sites of impacts. Number 10. Ackerman Crater Lake Ackerman in the strange Gawler Ranges of South Australia has long been a source of water and nutrition for people living in the area but it was only in 1985 that the reason behind this peculiar region's formation was discovered. With evidence of shatter cones and shocked quartz in the bedrock of the lake and on its islands, there's only one thing that could have produced such a scar on the Earth's surface, a large meteor strike. Subsequent research has found that one of the biggest impacts in history took place in the region around 580 million years ago, with the lake forming at the central cone that was formed as a result. The crater is originally thought to have been as much as 56 miles across, which would suggest the meteor itself was between 10 and 20 miles in diameter, and the explosive force of the impact has been estimated as being the equivalent to around 5 million tons of TNT, which is about the same as five modern-day thermonuclear weapons. It would have been a devastating event for the region, and material that was thrown up in the impact has been found as far as 190 miles away from the lake. At the time, the area was a shallow ocean, so the debris was absorbed into the mud. And this has given a unique insight into how material is scattered following an impact like this. Number 9. Tukanuka Crater In 1989, while searching for petroleum deposits in southwest Queensland, Australia, researchers collected unexpected seismic data that suggested the region they were looking at was once the site of a meteor impact. A core sample confirmed the theory when it retrieved some shocked quartz, further studies have revealed one of the largest known craters like this on the planet. Known as the Tukanuka Crater, it's thought to have been the result of a meteor strike that occurred during the Cretaceous period around 120 or 130 million years ago. It's now long been covered in many millions of years worth of rock, but the crater is believed to have been up to 41 miles across, which would imply an impact by a significantly sized meteor. Most particularly interesting about Tukanuka is that the seismic data has also uncovered a similar structure nearby called the Talendilly, which appears to have been formed around the same time, and could be evidence of a paired impact where two meteors struck in quick succession, or one much larger piece of space rock broke up in the Earth's atmosphere, with both pieces hitting the ground in close proximity to each other. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Kara Crater Locals have, for a long time, known there's something unusual about the rocks at the Kara Crater, which is on the Ugorsky Peninsula in Nenetsia, Russia, and have traveled to the remote region to collect them to sell to mineral traders for many years. 
Studies beneath the Earth's surface have now confirmed that the reason for this is a meteor impact that took place around 70 million years ago and may potentially have had significant consequences for the whole planet. In the coastal waters, there are outcrops of exposed impactite, which is a specific type of rock that's only formed under the extreme pressures and heat of a meteor strike, but the crater itself has been covered by thick layers of sediment in the intervening years. Seismic scans can, however, give clues as to its size, and researchers now believe it could have been as much as 75 miles in diameter following the event, despite just being 40 miles across now. This would make it the fourth largest known impact in the Earth's history, and would likely have caused extreme weather and climate changes across the globe. There's some evidence to suggest that a number of marine species actually went extinct before the impact at Chicxulub four million years later, and the event at the Kara Crater is now being seen as the potential cause. Number 7. Barringer Crater In northern Arizona, around 37 miles to the east of Flagstaff, there's a large scar on the Earth, known simply as the Meteor Crater, but also as the Barringer Crater, in honor of the geologist who first proposed it to be an impact crater. It's almost 4,000 feet in diameter, is up to 560 feet deep, and has a perimeter rim that's 148 feet high. While it's by no means the largest in the world, it's proven to be of use to researchers because of how recently it was formed. It was thought to have been a result of a meteor strike that took place around 50,000 years ago, which means that, unlike much larger prehistoric meteors, this impact crater hasn't been covered up or eroded away by millions of years' worth of geological activity. Amazingly, the meteor that caused it is thought to have only been around 160 feet across, but studies have shown it was traveling at more than 29,000 miles per hour, which means it struck with the equivalent power of 10 megatons of TNT more than twice the strength of China's most powerful nuclear weapon. The meteorite itself was mostly vaporized during this impact, but several samples of the rock have been found embedded within the crater and have been an invaluable resource to help understand what meteors are made from. Number 6. Manicougan Crater From space, it's clear that Canada's Manicougan Reservoir, which is also known as the Eye of Quebec because of the large island in its center, is an unusual formation, and not only is it the sixth largest known impact crater in the world, but is also one of the oldest. With a volume of 33.1 cubic miles, the lake fills the 40-mile diameter inner ring of the original crater that's believed to have been up to 62 miles across. Usually, there's a mountain at the center, which was created by the uplift of material following the impact, which goes just to show how significant an event this was. The crater was formed around 214 million years ago and is of particular interest to researchers because it dates to the exact same time as the smaller Rochouart Crater in France, the Obolon Crater in Ukraine, and the Red Wing Crater in North Dakota, and several more. This suggests the three-mile-wide meteor that struck Mancougan was, in fact, a fragment of a larger piece of space debris that broke up as it entered the Earth's atmosphere and caused a multiple impact event. Experts have always known that this is possible, and a similar occurrence was witnessed on the planet Jupiter in 1994. But this is the first time such a widespread multiple impact event has been suspected on our own planet, and the race is now on to try to understand how common they actually are. Number 5. Moroquin Crater In 1994, suspicious that there was a large geological structure beneath the sands of the Kalahari Desert near the town of Moroquin, South Africa, researchers began conducting magnetic and graphometric surveys and were astounded by the comprehensive proof they were able to collect. Their hypothesis had been right and they were stood above a large crater that had been made by a meteor impact approximately 145 million years ago. The crater itself is an estimated 43 miles in diameter, which suggests it was formed by a piece of rock that was as much as 6.2 miles wide. Upon further visits to the site, they were able to dig into the crater, which is around 2,530 feet beneath the surface. And to their astonishment, they were able to extract a core sample that contained fragments of the actual meteor. This is extremely rare, as the rocks are almost entirely vaporized on impact. But it's thought that the softer rock in the area may have allowed for a central fragment to survive. Tests found that it was an L-type chondrite, which is the second most common type of meteor to enter the Earth's atmosphere, and account for about 35% of all those that have been investigated. Number 4. Woodley Crater in the year 2000, after meticulous investigations, researchers announced the discovery of a previously unknown meteor impact crater that was buried deep beneath the surface of the Woodley Station region of Gascoigne, Western Australia. Believed to have been formed around the late Devonian period around 364 million years ago, very little evidence remains of the event, but what has been discovered implies that this could very well have been one of the biggest impacts in the history of the Earth. 
Estimates suggest that the crater could be anything between 40 and 100 miles across, which could have only been formed by a meteor somewhere in the range of 3 to 7.5 miles in diameter. Core samples have retrieved some unexpected finds, such as shock quartz, melted glass, and breccia, which only forms naturally when exerted to pressures more than 100 times more powerful than that of the strongest volcanic eruptions. Furthermore, an extremely rare mineral called rhydite was found, and this has only ever been seen in impact craters that are linked with particularly violent and destructive events, lending further weight to the theory that the Woodley Crater may not just be evidence of the largest meteor strike to hit Australia, but the fourth largest that we know of anywhere in the world. Number 3. Chesapeake Bay Crater In 1983, a drilling core that was taken in Atlantic City contained something quite unexpected – grains of shock quartz and fused glass. And this could only mean one thing – that at some point in history, this had been the site of a colossal meteor impact. At first, it wasn't entirely clear where the strike occurred, or when, but further research in 1993 came up with the answers everyone in the scientific community were asking and in the process revealed one of the largest impact events to have ever taken place in the U.S. Around 35 and a half million years ago, during the Eocene epoch, a meteor that was several miles across struck the eastern seaboard at the Chesapeake Bay, which at the time would have been an area teeming in life in rainforests and wetlands. Things dramatically changed, however, because the impact that caused a crater 53 miles wide threw millions of tons of water and rock into the atmosphere, which was deposited for hundreds of miles around. If this wasn't bad enough, it would have also formed a mega tsunami, the likes of which we've never seen in modern times, and at several hundred feet tall, would have traveled hundreds of miles inland before dissipating. As well as being incredibly destructive, this meteor was constructive too. It created a geological depression in the area, which altered the roots of rivers and the development of the Chesapeake Bay itself. Number 2. Popeye Crater during a meteor impact, extreme temperatures and pressures are created that form types of rocks that are rarely seen anywhere else. But there's also the chance that a meteor can produce completely recognizable rocks too, and if you're lucky, ones that are worth huge amounts. Around 35 million years ago, a meteor is believed to have struck a region in Siberia, Russia, and was responsible for the joint fourth largest impact crater that we know of on Earth. At 62 miles in diameter, it was made by a meteor of at least 5 miles wide. And due to the exact position where it hit the land, this is arguably the most valuable impact crater ever found. That's because the meteor landed on top of a large deposit of graphite. The strike was so violent that the graphite from more than 8.5 miles away in each direction was superheated and turned into diamonds, which are still being dug out of the ground to this day. In fact, due to the number of mines in operation in the area, scientists were restricted from investigating the signs that a meteor once impacted there just in case it would interfere with the economy of the region, one that unknowingly was directly supported by events that took place many of millions of years ago. Number 1. Lake Mistassini When you look at the moon and other planets in the solar system, you can see the scars on their surface with billions of years worth of meteor impacts. Earth would look the same too if it wasn't for the weather and continual geologic activity. And instead, we have to look for other signs, such as circular formations, gravitational or magnetic anomalies, and evidence of rocks that can only be formed in such violent events. The longer ago an impact is thought to have happened, the more difficult it is to confirm. And that's the case with Lake Mistassini in Quebec, Canada. The leading theory for how this 835 square mile lake formed is that it was the result of a meteor impact around 2.1 billion years ago, in an event that would have created a crater of more than 310 miles across. But the remnants would lie so deep within the bedrock of the area, researchers are yet to find any to prove the theory. What's so important about this, though, is that if it is true, and a meteor did impact the site so long ago, this would, without a doubt, be the largest impact crater, and therefore the largest meteor strike that we know of in the Earth's history. Something of this size would undoubtedly have changed the atmosphere significantly, and most likely would have caused tsunamis and shockwaves that shot across the planet and been far more devastating than even the extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.